Excellent day. This today we are going to do the second class of this course of basic concepts of Modflow and Model Muse, the basic course. And now we are going to deal with the package and programs. Okay. Uh, this this course is consists of uh, um, a series of short videos. While uh, in some videos will be on part of the theory or the configuration of the software, and in other parts will be entirely on a numerical exercises. No? Okay, so we go, this part is really important when you, you, when you build your model, you go to model, package and programs. And package and programs is where you define many things about your model. First is which is the flow package that you will use. This model is using the model flow NWT, but uh, for example, an NWT have a package and programs, the upstream waiting package as the flow as the flow package. But if you, you use 2005, most probably you will use this one, layer, prep, layer property flow package. If you deal with a saturated flow zone, then you have this one that is uh, here you start the unsaturated flow part, and here you can fix the seawater intrusion. This one is actually seawater intrusion package two. It's actually the replacement of seawater. Conditions: you have the constant head boundary condition, you have the recharge package, and then you have um, you have the this is the first order, second order, and third order. These ones are the ones that were the water head. These ones are the ones where the flux it fixes, and these ones are where the flux depends on the water head. Um, it's the constant head boundary condition. And from this, recharge is mostly recharge from, from precipitation. Here we have, um, if we want to, wells located in just one cell. If you want to distribute, your well along many cells, you can use this one, these two. Okay. Uh, I, this one is new for me. I, I haven't I haven't used it so far. The FHB. Okay, the drain package is where you want to, to conceptualize water courses that actually courses like stream flows were always wind. That means that the groundwater discharge to the to the stream and flow on the stream is always higher. This conceptualization you can use the drain package. And this is the most one of the most easy to configure on mod flow. Uh, if you want to to use rivers, the river actually can win or can lose water. Okay. And then you can do evapotranspiration segments. Um, evapotranspiration package is, is the most basic package of mod flow, a model, a mod flow that where water table is close to surface, uh, the roots or the root zone will take water from the aquifer and discharge it as evapotranspiration on a linear equation. If you want, if like you want, this is okay when you deal with uh, basins. But when you deal with um, you deal with certain configurations on on crops, maybe you can use the evapotranspiration segments where you can uh, you can represent better the dynamics of evapotranspiration and the root zone. Okay, general head boundary condition is actually really is similar to constant head boundary condition, but general head boundary condition has a value of conductance that actually relates. How is your boundary condition connected to the aquifer? Um, on the practical side, the general head boundary condition is actually more, uh, the general head boundary condition is, is uh, on the convergence is better than the constant head. The constant head is really strong boundary condition when dealing with a numerical, for me, for my, on my perspective, like if I use it no, um, constant head boundary condition, sometimes I get no convergence, while if I change it to general head boundary condition and the water table is the same, 
runs better with general boundary condition. But this this really upon the case, and maybe you have, and this and this is not exactly um, demonstrated on the based on my perception. Okay, then you have the lake package if you want to to simulate some process on lakes, and this is the multi node where you have the uh, like you want to distribute your well along many cells. Okay. Reservoir package is really interesting because you can relate your reservoir and then you can see uh, with the re with the inflows and the groundwater flow if your if your reservoir will fill or like it or like all water that is flowing into the reservoir will be will just uh, used on the as seepage. Hmm? Then we have the river package that is similar to drain package, but here the river can gain or lose water. And here we have the stream flow package, the stream, the stream flow routing. And these are where you want to like all the water that uh, on the unsaturated part, all water that was not infiltrated can 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 go as surface runoff. And here you can do the routing on this. Okay. Then we have the solvers. When you use NWT, NWT is actually a solver. But if you use Modflow 2005, you most probably use PCG. Is Modflow 2005, on my experience, PCG. And when you use NWT, you use the Newton solver. Subsidence, I have not done any, 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 uh, any example of subsidence, but you can go to the reference and the papers. Observation here is very interesting because you can observation with piezometric heads and as well with um, base flow with drain observation. And here, like you can have in the in the results of the software, like the comparison in between your base, your surface flow, and and as well on the piezometric heads, observe and calculate. Okay, the output, I have not, I have not done much of that. And here is another package, and Richard Winston, the developer of Model Muse, have done many, many, many videos on this. I, 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 I want to do some, some examples on this as well, because I, I think this is related to the stream flow routing package. Okay, post-processor, we have Modpad, that is for particle tracking. And here in this example, is we see some... But some budget is to is for doing a water balance, but on a specific zone of your aquifer. And MT3DMS is the actually the multi-transport modeling system that is for solute transport. Like in fact, it's for contaminants, but it's is for any solute that is on your groundwater system as a liquid phase. Okay, so this was. Our introduction to packaging programs. This is the second class of the basic course of Modflow and Model Muse. We hope that you will see you in the next uh, tutorial. The next tutorial will be on a practical exercise where we put some a static and a steady state flow model and we put some boundary conditions. Uh, so far, for Please support our initiative in, in water resources by sharing our contents. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel because it will be the most the most effective way to keep in touch for uh, the most effective way to keep in touch for the latest classes. Okay. My name is Saul Motoya. Please have an excellent day. And if you have any feedback, if you commentary, something like that just write on this video okay so see you to the to the next class bye bye